Well, over the weekend, the uh, United States got blindsided by OPEC Plus. OPEC, OPEC Plus is the uh, group of oil producing nations that now includes Russia. And uh, a bunch of countries just said that they're going to cut oil production. Uh, oil prices jumped 8% this morning. Saudi Arabia and other members, they're going to cut it more than, it's going to be 1.2 million barrels a day. I believe world consumption is just a little over 100 million barrels a, a day. My, my recollection is it was 112 million a day. I, I, I may well be wrong, though. I mean, you know, you'll have to look that up. I, I, uh, I don't, I, but it's just a, um, a recollection. But uh, the White House back in October had accused Saudi Arabia of siding with Russia. Uh, these are both autocratic nations. You know, you've got, you've got dictators, a dictator running Saudi Arabia, a dictator running Russia. So it makes sense that they would have more in common with each other than they would have with the United States. And ever since the Trump uh, presidency, Saudi Arabia has been moving away from the United States and toward Russia and aggressively courting Donald Trump and his family, giving Jared Kushner $2 billion, giving Donald Trump hundred, apparently a hundred, hundreds of millions of dollars for the Live Golf Tour and, uh, and signing a $4 billion. Now, this wasn't just Saudi Arabia, it was uh, a bunch of countries in the region, uh, particularly the Qataris, a $4 billion hotel uh, deal in, in the Middle East. Uh, so all kinds of oil money is going to Donald Trump. And, and the reason why is quite clear. They are very hopeful that Donald Trump will be our president again. They want to end democracy in the United States. They want to make basically the world safe for autocrats, for dictators like, you know, MBS in Saudi Arabia and Putin in Russia. This is their goal. So, you know, it shouldn't surprise us. Uh, Helma Croft, who is the head of commodity strategy at RBC uh, Capital Markets, said it's a Saudi first policy. They're making new friends, as we saw with China. The kingdom was sending a message to the U.S. that it's no longer a unipolar world. Uh, here are the countries that are going to cut their oil and by how much. Iraq is going to reduce oil uh, production by 211,000 barrels per day. The United Arab Emirates is cutting by 144,000 barrels a day. Kuwait is cutting by 128,000. Remember Kuwait that we uh, saved from Saddam Hussein? They're giving us the middle finger, cu cutting oil production by 128,000 barrels a day. Kazakhstan by 78,000 barrels a day. Algeria by 48,000 barrels a day. And Oman by 40,000 barrels a day. So you add all that up and it comes out to about 1.2 million barrels. Uh, 500,000 uh, cut, by the way, from Russia and 500,000 cut from Saudi Arabia. Uh, the, the Russian cut is uh, pre-existing. It, it just will continue to stand. So, you know, keep an eye on this. You're going to see the price of, go of oil going up. You're going to see the price of gasoline going up. And pretty soon, just cue the, cue the response. Republicans are going to start squealing about gas prices. Oh, my God, it's all Joe Biden's fault. Here it comes.